Hello all, it's your girl Tiffany, Madam Lucius Black Beauty, your Poetic Psychic Pisces, High Priestess, aka the late the Shams of the Diamond, also known as your modern day nun, one whom isn't within a coven, a convent, or a covenant. I do thank you all for listening and for watching on tonight. If you would be so kind to please like, share, and subscribe, it would be greatly, greatly appreciated. This is going to be a general reading for the overall collective of any zodiac sign, so please take the messages that apply, leave the ones that do not. Remember that this reading may apply to your past, your present, or your future, as well as it may be pertaining to you or any and everyone in between that you may or may not know. With that being said, guys, we are going to get started. I do hope you are doing well and feeling well. On today, or tonight, guys, okay, so let's see what's going on with you all. Okay, we first start off with, we have the Queen of Wands here, Five of Coins, Four of Cups. You could be a fire sign, such as Aries or Leo, or you could be dealing with someone who's a fire sign, such as Aries or Leo. Um, there's something here with some type of abandonment, neglect. Somebody being left out in the cold in some type of way. Either this fire sign could have done this. Or this fire sign could be feeling this way. Okay. This could have something to do with some type of offer proposal or proposition here. Okay. This one, it looks like this queen of wands may have, have abandoned, neglected, or betrayed someone, left someone out in the cold with lack of finances, money, resources, support, or help. So whatever this fire sign feminine energy has offered or proposed to someone here. Um, this may have been rejected in some type of way because somebody is feeling stuck here. Somebody is feeling stuck, restricted, or unable to move or get out of a situation because there has been some type of change or shift to something here. I feel like this Queen of Wands, such as Aries or Leo Feminine, abandoned someone, left someone hanging, left someone out in the cold, left someone with a lack of finances, money, resources, support, or assistance in some type of way. So this Queen of Wands like, made some type of small offer to someone i feel like basically breadcrumb someone shortchange someone here to keep someone stuck restricted or unable to move okay i feel like this queen of ones did this to someone else to keep them stuck in stagnant to bring about some type of change here yeah, with the nine of wands at the bottom of the deck so this talks about defensiveness okay this talks about um one feeling like a sacrifice is needing to be made, defensive energy, protection, or one feeling like they need protection here. It's very clear for this Queen of Wands. Why is this Queen of Wands here? It's like this Queen of Wands has worked hard to try to do something, but abandoned and neglected someone else in the process for it's what seems to be something to work out in their favor yeah this queen of wands is a part of some type of collaboration with others okay for the purposes of money here which is the reason why this queen of wands abandoned someone else neglected and betrayed someone else left someone out in the cold here yeah something has to do with jealousy envy hatred spitefulness competition with the five of wands being here so what has happened is this queen of wands is a part of some type of click club group gang secret society uh, organization something that they are in some type of contractual agreement or commitment okay this this queen of wands is teamed up linked up with a group of other individuals for the purposes of money here okay and what has happened is this queen of wands like i said abandoned someone neglected someone uh, betrayed someone, left someone out in the cold, left someone hanging with a lack of finances or assistance or support or help. And this was all because of this Queen of Wands jealousy, envy, hatred, spitefulness, competition. Okay. This person may have even wanted to punish someone, to pay someone back or in some type of way. Or did they just really did something out of pet pettiness, jealousy, and envy here? Okay. With the five, with the five and five makes a ten. Okay, tens are endings and completions here. Okay, so with the five of coins and the five of ones here, this queen of ones 
abandoned with someone and left someone with a lack of support and assistance because they were jealous, envious, and intimidated by them. Okay? Spirit, so why is this Four of Cups here? What is this Four of Cups? Whatever this Four of Cups is, it's like this Queen of Wands. It's, it, this Queen of Wands like literally smiled up in somebody's face while they were stabbing them in the back here. Knowing that they were the very ones who be betrayed and abandoned and neglected this person, left this person out in the cold, was just loyal to this person, did not support this person or anything. And it's like every once in a while they came around and breadcrumbed this person, you know, shortchanged this person, you know, just threw this person like, you know. A little bone of, of something of some type of small ass offer okay whatever this small offer proposition or proposal that this queen of ones offered okay which they was only doing so to keep someone stuck here it caused a lot of sadness loss disappointment and regret here okay to a water sign energy pisces cancer or scorpio yeah this queen of wands wanted to keep someone stuck, restricted, or unable to move or get out of a situation here, okay? They didn't want them to receive some type of gift of abundance, a gift of, uh, uh, some type of a gift of abundance or financial stability, security, or something. Spirit clarified is eight of swords. Yeah, they tried to keep this person stuck because of the work that they do here. Something to do with this person's work or what they do for work. So this Queen of Wands kept this person stuck on purpose. Yeah, with the Moon card here. To bring about some type of change. And this was done in secret behind someone's back here. The Moon talks about secret things, hidden things, what's done in the dark. It also speaks to criminal activity, Moon magic, shady people, dirty dealings, illusions, fear, hiding things, covering up things dilemmas delays the moon talks about a lot of things but what this change what kept someone stuck and and the change that was brought to this person's life that they abandoned and breadcrumb with little to nothing brought about some type of change this all occurred because of what this queen of wands and this group of individuals that they collaborated with for the purposes of money did behind the scenes in secret here yeah, and this Queen of Wands and the group that they teamed up and linked up with, they did this out of pure jealousy, envy, hatred, spitefulness, competition here to bring about some type of sadness, loss, disappointment, and regret to a water sign individual, a Pisces, Cancer, or Scorpio here, all because of the work that they do. Yeah, and they was very motivated and determined to do this here, okay? This is someone... Whoever this, they did this to, this Queen of Wands and the people that they collaborated with, this has to do with family here. Ten of Cups talks about family. Okay? A whole family abandoned, neglected, and betrayed someone, sabotaged someone, was just loyal to someone, left someone out in the cold, didn't support someone, out of jealousy, Spirit is saying. Wow, yeah. A Queen of Cups, a Pisces, Cancer, a Scorpio here. And every once in a while, this person would come through and like throw this person a, a, a bone, okay? Crumbs from the bone, not even a whole bone. No meat on the bone. You understand what I'm saying? Which caused sadness, loss, disappointment, and regret to this Queen of Cups here. This is sad. Yeah, this is somebody's mother. You could be a mother or a mother figure that this person did this to. This person can also now be facing imprisonment. They were trying to keep you stuck, but they could be facing jail or imprisonment themselves for what they have done to you. Eight of swords, eight of coins, spirit. They wanted to keep you stuck. They didn't want you to have this success, triumph, victory, public recognition. Okay? Remember we also seen that this person... Oh my God. 
Mm -mm. This person did things to, to block you from having success, triumph, victory, public recognition. They also did things to block your love life. Spirit is saying. This person also, this queen of wands also teamed up and linked up with a queen of pentacles, Capricorn, Taurus, or Virgo. These people lied. They lied, cheated, stole from you. This is sad. This is somebody's mother who did this to them. They didn't want you to have abundance. Financial stability or security. This could be a mother or a mother figure. This could be a mother, an aunt, a grandmother. Spirit say that's the truth. That's clarity. They did this to you on purpose to keep you stuck, to keep you stagnant, to keep you restricted, to keep you from having your hopes, wishes, and dreams come true, to keep you from having stability and security. Wow. This is sad. These are liars, cheaters, thieves, manipulators, con artists. Spirit is saying... Spirit, what else is going on here? Yeah, you could be even, you could have spoke some type of truth or clarity here. People have been working against you to keep you stuck because of the work that you do. These people could have even tried to set you up to be in prison in some type of way. If not that, they just wanted to keep you stuck and stagnant to keep you from like succeeding, progressing in life. This is sad. So you clarify this uh, Eight of Cups. They did all of this to, to, to bring about this change here with the moon. There was also magic that was done on you. With this magician card here, they manipulated things to, to get what they were trying to manifest to go in their favors. These people did moon magic on you. Black magic, voodoo, hoodoo, hexes, curses, spells, evil eyes, santeria, root work on you. Yeah, they did this so that you would be juggling and struggling and be in this two of pentacles energy with nothing to cause you heartache and heartbreak here, okay? They were also trying to cause your death here is what they did this spell work on you for. This is sad. This is sad. Somebody's own family, like the entire family. There's a queen of swords that's involved in something as well. It's involved in this situation as well. Aquarius, Libra, Gemini. There's also a Queen of Pentacles, Capricorn, Taurus, or Virgo who did this um, to you. But this Queen of Wands is like the ringleader with everybody else to do this to you. This is what they wanted to prevent you from having some type of gift of generosity was left to you. Somebody may have left you a gift of abundance or some type of gift um, that was material in nature here. They didn't want you to have this gift of abundance. They didn't want you to have success, triumph, victory, public recognition here. They didn't want you to have love. And this, this is what they work to block you from having from behind the scenes here. They did spell work on you and a multitude of other things to attack and affect your finances to keep you juggling and struggling, trying to find balance. They did things on purpose to cause you heartache, heartbreak, sadness, sorrow, misery, pain, anguish, disappointment, and regret. And they also were doing death spells on you to cause a death and ending to your life. And this Queen of Wands is behind this, along with plenty of other people that this person worked with. And they were very motivated. This Queen of Wands teamed up and linked up with a scheme of individuals to collaborate against you, to work against you. This person even offered you up in some type of contract as a sacrifice for money. And the entire family is in on it. They all abandoned you, neglect you ne neglected you, left you out in the cold. They sabotaged you. They tried to ruin you. They tried to end you. 
They left you with a lack of support and assistance on purpose out of jealousy, envy, hatred, and spitefulness and competition of you. This was done to a Queen of Cups, Pisces, Cancer, or Scorpio. You had next to nothing. And, and, and anytime anybody came your way, it was like breadcrumbs. They was breadcrumbing you, shortchanging you, giving you pennies of shit that they stole from you in the first place. So they never want, they weren't doing any damn thing for you. And this caused you sadness, loss, disappointment, and regret on purpose. They wanted to keep you stuck, keep you trapped, keep you restricted, keep you from, from moving forward, from progressing, from, from having success here because of the work that you do, because you speak some type of truth and clarity and some type of work that you do. So they, they, they did this to attack you. And in an effort to bring about the change that they wanted, they did magic. They worked against you in secret behind your back, behind the scenes, behind closed doors. They did spell work on you. They did a multitude of different things to attack you. They did things on purpose to cause you heartache and heartbreak. They even sent people in your life to break your heart on purpose. They did spell work on you. They, they, they did things to attack your mind, your, 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 your spirit, your soul. Your essence, your aura, your chakras, your mind, your body, your soul, okay? They attack your finances, money, resources, your stability, your security. They try to attack your health, your well-being, everything. Yeah. Why? Because they went to them crossroads. Because they saw they sold. They made a deal with Papa Legba. They made a deal with the devil here. Also, they could have been trying to affect or change some type of legal decision that was made about a large amount of money. Okay? But they made the wrong decision in working against you for the purposes of money here. Now, they could be dealing with burdens, hardships, and problematic situations here. Okay? That's what's going on here, y'all. That's what's going on here. Spirit, what other messages do we have for the collective, please? Clarify this Queen of Wands with this Three of Coins and this Three of Wands with the Empress here. Yeah, now this person, now this person is 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 acting like they got anxiety and shit. Acting like they scared and they panicked, but they weren't scared and panicked or had no anxiety because they was motivated and determined when they was doing the shit to you. They were this was drastic what they did. It was extreme, it was harsh what they did. Spirit, clarify five of Five of uh, coins, five of wands, ten of cups, five of coins, and these. And this person got the uh, the audacity to be in denial about what they did to you. They're not facing the truth. This entire family is in denial, not facing the truth of what they did to you. They're irrational in their reasoning because they know this shit was Jurassic. What they did to you, spirit, clarify, clarify. Um, what is that? Four, four of cups, five of cups. Yeah. Four of cups, five of cups, queen of cups. Spirit. Yeah, they left you feeling lost. These people ghosted you. They blocked you. They cut you off or you had to block and cut off these people. Why? Because they caused you heartache. They caused you pain. Okay. Yeah. Spirit, clarify. Eight of Swords. Eight of Coins. Ace of Swords. Eight of Swords. Eight, or, or excuse me. Eight of Swords. Eight of Coins and the Ace of Swords. Yeah. These people, look at this family. This is family that all teamed up and linked up and worked together to attack you, to keep you stuck, restricted, bound, unable to move or get out of a situation. They could have kept you stuck in poverty. They blocked you from getting new uh, resources of money, blocked you from having success, triumph, victory, or public recognition, blocked you from having true love in your life. Your own supposed family did this to you because of the work that you do and because you speak some type of truth and clarity. You could even be a truther here. Spirit, clarify Eight of Cups, the Moon, and the Magician. Eight of Cups, the Moon, and the Magician. Yeah. 
Yeah. They have done things to attack your finances, money, and resources heavily. These people wanted you like with nothing. Absolutely nothing. Homeless on the street. You was homeless on the street. These people when they 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 went to offer you a cup of water, less long a meal. Yeah. They had an obsession, spirit is saying. They had some type of obsession. We're bringing about a change. We're working against you in secret. They were too cowards to do any damn thing to your face, say anything to your face. If you confronted any of these people to their goddamn face, I guarantee you they would lie through their teeth to you or through their teeth. They would deny that they have done anything to you. But this was, Spirit say this Jurassic, what they've done to you, and they're in denial. They had a sick obsession for attacking you and working against you. And they all collaborated together for the purposes of money. To work against you, to end you, to destroy you. These people, they had you juggling and struggling. With a lack of finances, money, resources, balance in your life. They done things to cause you heartache and heartbreak and pain and sorrow and misery and anguish. While they were doing death spells on you. Yeah, poison. People, spirits say these people, or somebody, one of these people could have tried to poison you. Your own mother could have tried to poison you, or they sent somebody in to poison you. But spirit is saying these people are toxic. And they have toxic, unhealthy behaviors from these people here. But they try to poison you, spirit is saying. Or these are poisonous people, rather, spirit is saying, who are unhealthy and toxic. Spirit, clarify this Queen of Wands, Three of Coins, and the Three of Wands here. Yeah, now this person frightened. Now this person, what you scared for now? You weren't scared when you was motivated into doing what you was doing. You thought it was a game. This person was Jurassic and what they did to you. Harsh. Extreme and what they did to you. Spirit. And there's evidence of what they did. There's evidence. Spirit clarify. This person teamed up. Whoever this Queen of Wands is, Sextus, Aries, or Leo teamed up and linked up with your friends, with your lovers, with other family to work against you. Spirit, what's going on? Any other messages for this Queen of Wands? Any other messages? Yeah. Endorsement here. Whoever this Queen of Wands is could have persuaded, bribed, or tempted others with money to work against you. Spirit, clarify. Yeah. Spirit said these people are mad. Your entire family is in on it. Your friends are in on it. Your ex-lovers are in on it. Look at all these people wearing a mask. Not who they appear, who they appear to be. Cloaking themselves. Hiding who they truly are. Spirit said they full of deception. They pretending. Okay, they fake, phony, fraudulent, untrue, lying, cheating, deceiving, manipulating, con artists here. Look at this. When this person, this person from time to time would come through with like they was, try, you know, coming to help you with some type of mercy or charity or kindness. Okay. But they, whatever it is that they offered you or gave you, I guarantee you it was cursed. And it was done to keep you stuck in some type of way. You had to cut these people off. You had to block these people. These people could have ghosted you, cut you off, blocked you, isolated you while still targeting you. Okay? But every once in a while, that's what this four of cups is. This is a small ass offer from somebody who wants to shortchange you and breadcrumb you. This is somebody that you may not hear from. Out of 365 days out the year, you might see them twice a year. They may pop up on your birthday. They might pop up on Christmas. You might not, it was so fucked up about these people, you might not hear from them on important holidays like your birthday or Christmas. Where you, where, you know, those are days that people celebrate that they, you know, it's a coming together of people who actually love and care about them. They, some of them days you might not hear from them people just so they can make you feel unimportant and unloved. And they'll pop up on some random as they and act like they coming in to help. They come in with some type of mercy or charity or kindness, but they wearing a mask. They done paid people or they done been paid, persuaded, tempted, bribed to work against you for money. This queen of wands could have even been persuaded, tempted, or bribed 
to be a part of this group to work against you for money and they accepted it. Or either they were the ones who were paying others, bribing others, tempting others to work against you. All of these bitches are wearing a mask and not who they appear to be. And this person will pop up from time to time acting like they merciful towards you. They got some type of charity towards you. Some type of kindness towards you. Yes, spirits say these people are bullies. They bullied you. They did things to embarrass you. They gossip about you. They slandered you. They talked about you. They dragged your name through the mud. Your own supposed fucking family. Now they want to act like they fucking apologetic. They don't apologize. They upset because they got caught. Because the truth and the clarity is out. They didn't want nobody to know that they low down in dirty gutter rats. They didn't want nobody to know that they wolves and snakes and sheep's clothing. They didn't want nobody to know that they lying, cheating, deceiving, manipulating con artists. They didn't want nobody to know that they were sellouts and devil worshippers and witches and warlocks and demonically possessed. They didn't want nobody to know that they was puppets in the pockets of the satanic powers that be. They didn't want nobody to know that. That's why they worked against you in secret because they're fucking cowards. So they ain't apologetic for any damn thing that they did to you. Do you forget they've been doing death spells on you? They literally wanted you to die. They never wanted you to find out what they was doing to you. They wanted you to be brainwashed, dumbed down on the mind control, stupid and ignorant to what they was doing to you. They wanted you to die without ever knowing what they had did to you. But they know that you know the truth. And now it's public. The public know what they have done to you. And now they feel away. Because those of them, many of these people might be in positions of power. Leadership positions. Many of these people might act like they Christians. Many of these people might act like they righteous and upstanding pillars of the fucking community. They didn't want the they they've been around here stunning in front for the longest. They didn't want people to act like I mean you didn't want people to know that this is this is how they do they own because if, if if anybody from the outside looking in, if this is supposed to be your family and this is how you would treat your own fucking family, bitch, then you don't care nothing about a complete fucking stranger. You don't care nothing about any damn body else that you come into contact with in the fucking world. If you would do this to your own supposed family family for money yeah use a selfish bitch use an evil wicked demonic decrepit bitch you absent of sympathy empathy remorse a heart ass bitch you a soulless ass bitch that's what you are that's what your entire family is. Some of these bitches run around here like they matriarchs of the family and shit. You ain't shit. So have several seats, bitch. I don't give a damn how old you are. You have to give respect. To get respect. Respect is earned. Just like trust. I don't care about how old you are. Because I'm a full grown ass adult too. Cause just so just cause I'm 40 and your ass might be 60, bitch, don't make you no growner than the fuck me. And it don't mean that I got to be wrong for you to be right. It don't mean that I got to sit on no back burner and allow nobody to use me and abuse me. Why you set yourself or who you want up on a fucking pedestal like you better than some damn body else. You ain't shit. And you a lie and the truth ain't in you. For anybody that would do this to anybody, let's loan their own supposed family, bitch, please. Excuse my language, but this type of shit here pisses me off. Because I don't bite my tongue. I don't shook cold shit and I don't beat around no bush. Now, I was taught to respect my elders. But when your elders don't respect you, bitch, I will let you have it. Because all these bitches too coward to say or do any damn thing to your face. Because I'm that chick that's going to confront you to your face. I'm going to call you out about your bullshit. And I guarantee you. I bet my life upon it. You will stand in my fucking face and lie. And act like you weren't a part of none of this shit. Because you just a low down and dirty shame. Bitch you best believe if I talk about you. It ain't going to be behind your back bitch. Because I'm going to take you to your face. Even if I happen to say something. Behind your back. I ain't just sitting up teams, teamed up and schemed up with nobody. Talking about you like a goddamn dog. Somebody happened to, ask, happened to ask me something about you. I'm telling you the truth. But if you come that shit get back to you. And you come back and ask me about it. Bitch I'm going to repeat exactly what the fuck I said. Because I ain't got to lie on you. 
Bitch made ass people like this, they work behind your back in secret and they stunt in front of your fucking face because they are fucking cowards and everything they doing is a lie to begin with. See, bitch, you ain't even worth me work, 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 working against you for money. But, but that's your petty, ignorant ass. Hold on, guys. But see, that's how petty, ignorant ass people operate. Hold on, y'all. Sorry about y'all. <laughs> I kicked my camera thing and it move. That's how petty, uh, evil ass people operate, Spirit is saying. Yeah, they wanted to bring about the change that they wanted to bring in your life here. What did I tell you? These part, these people was cussing curses and spells on you. This say hate, catastrophe, misfortune. They cast curses and spells on you out of hatred to cause catastrophe and misfortune in your life. And the majority of the people who did this was your own supposed family, your mother's side of the family, your father's side of the family. You know what's interesting? Is a, a lot of the people who worked against you, who collaborated together, worked against you, they don't even like to fuck each other. But you was the common denominator and they all came together to work the fuck against you. Isn't that amazing? Isn't it amazing how one common cause can bring uh, 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 others together that don't really care for one another to work against you? They cursed you. To cause catastrophe and they was obsessed with doing this shit. They were trying to manipulate a situation. They were trying to manipulate manifestation of what they wanted. By casting curses and spells and shit on you to bring about the change that they wanted. And they worked like cowards in secret behind your fucking back. Behind your back spirit is saying. Yeah, that's what's going on here, y'all. Yeah, but guess what? There's evidence, there's proof of what these people have done to you. Now they worry, now they scared. So see what I'm talking about? So if any of them come your way and act like they want to offer you an apology, they ain't sorry. Yeah, they sorry, all right. They about the sorriest motherfuckers you never known in your goddamn life. How sorry they is. But they are not apologetic for any damn thing that they have done to you. Okay? You can believe that. They're not apologetic to any damn thing that they have done to you, Spirit is saying. Yeah. Whoever this Queen of Wands is was trying to use some type of control tactics on you, wanted to control you. Who the fuck is you to think that you can control another full grown ass adult? Bitch, worry about your own life and your own fucking business and stop trying to use control tactics on other fucking people, bitch. Control tactics. They try to use on you, spirit is saying. Yeah. Avoidance and stalemate. Here, these people avoided you. They neglected you. They abandoned you. They left you out in the cold. They kicked you while you was down. They dragged your name through the mud. They kicked you under the bus. They left you and, and they, they, they watched you every single day. And they knew when you was, you was juggling. They knew you was struggling. They knew you was without if you had a car, these bitches did something to sabotage your car. They sent somebody to uh, uh, fuck up your car on purpose. And these bitches didn't even come through and offer you a fucking ride. Not a ride to the store. Not to get your, uh, your child to a doctor's appointment. Not to give you a ride to the laundromat. Any damn thing. But this supposed to be your family though. They're supposed to be your loved ones, though. Yeah, they left you feeling guarded and vulnerability. Left you feeling guarded and vulnerable because of what they did to you. They caused you sadness, loss, disappointment, and regret. And when a bitch felt like it, you came along and offered some damn body. You came along to offer somebody some chump change. Don't nobody want that shit. Keep that shit, bitch. Because you ain't been doing nothing for, for, for uh, uh, anybody. Keep it. After they stole to, from you anyway. Lied to you. Lied on you any fucking way. Keep that shit. Don't nobody want shit from you. Yeah. 
They wanted to cause an unexpected storm in your life. Now they're dealing with unexpected storms because there is evidence and there is proof of what they have done to you. This unexpected storm here, this is like the tower card. They wanted to cause tragedy, loss, chaos in your life. But now these big ass bullies, your family, they the ones who are going to experience this. Your family, somebody was bullied by their own fucking family who, who caused tra uh, tragedy and chaos in their life because of the work that you do. Whatever you work that you do, you must be speaking some real damn truth and real damn clarity for all these people to rise up against you like this. But these bitches must have forgot the First Amendment right. As if you don't have the First Amendment right, it's not freedom of speech. According to what the fuck you want me to talk about. Freedom of speech. Is I am free to speak about whatever I want to speak about. My thoughts, my opinions, or any damn thing else. You around here casting curses and spells on people. Sabotaging and ruining people's lives and shit. Trying to block them from having. You you jealous and envious for a person getting some type of generosity. Gifts of generosity and shit. Trying to block a person from having success, triumph, and victory, and public recognition and shit. Trying to block a person from having love. You selfish bitch. They did this so that they can change something. I'm telling you, something was going on legally. I feel like pertaining to this money that was supposed to come to you. But see, now these people are facing karma. They've been doing spell work on you in this situation here. Epiphanies. Breakthroughs. Okay? You, you had an epiphany. You see the truth. Of what these people are doing. Ain't no coming back. They know they can't never be a part of your life. Never no more. Ain't shit they can say. Ain't shit that they can say or they can do. And the truth and clarity is out here. Of what they done. So not only do you know the truth. But the community know the truth. The world know the truth. As to what they, what they did to you. Yeah. This is somebody's mother. But you see how she is grouped up with other people. That's that Three of Pentacles energy. The Three of Pentacles talks about collaborations and contracts. Whoever this Queen of Wands is teamed up and linked up with a group of other people for the purposes of money to work against you. And they use some type of control tactics on you. They avoided you, abandoned you, neglected you, left you out in the cold with a lack of assistance and support and help. They did things to have you guarded and vulnerable. They did things to cause chaos and tragedy in your life. All because of a legal situation, a legal matter pertaining to some money. And these bitches was jealous and envious and intimidated by you about. That's why these group of individuals that collaborated together for the purposes of money. That was jealous, envious, and intimidated by you. They caused you sadness, loss, disappointment, and regret. Because of the work that you do. So they worked against you in secret and behind your back to attack you, to target you, to gang stalk you, to harass you, to illegally invade and violate you. On various different levels. And there's proof of what these bitches did. Good riddance ho. Ding dong. The witch is dead. Are you well on your way? I thank y'all for listening. I thank you all for watching. Till the next time guys. Um, anyway yeah yeah yeah. I thank y'all for listening for watching. I hope this gave you all the truth and the clarity that you were seeking. Pertaining to a situation that you may be dealing with. Or pertaining to a situation that you may know that someone is dealing with. If you are cross watching. Okay. Uh, for those of you who would like to contact me. You can do so at tip.diamond.36 at gmail.com. You can also uh, follow me on Instagram. Which is shine bright like a diamond 36 with the underscore between each word. For any person who is interested in donating to the channel, it is greatly appreciated. I do thank you all in advance. Any little bit helps. Y'all know I'm a targeted individual, and as a targeted individual, they do everything in their power to try to uh, block God's people from succeeding, progressing, uh, or, or shit, sometimes just surviving in life, okay? Um, they they block in my, my numbers and my views and all kinds of things because they don't want me to succeed. Okay, guys? So, um, if you enjoy the content, okay, um, 
you can like, share, or subscribe for free, okay? But if you would like to make a modest contribution to the channel, that is also appreciated as well, okay? You can do so through Cash App, which is dollar sign tip diamond three six, or through PayPal, which is paypal.me slash at three six diamond, okay? Um, and just for the off chance that somebody may have Zelle or something like that, it is my email address, which is tiffanyziegler60 at gmail.com or tiff.diamond.36 at gmail.com, okay, guys? As always, guys, y'all take care of yourself, take care of each other, but most of all, take care of your babies, honey. Remember, this is a wicked, wicked world that we live in. There's wickedness in high places, and there's evil that's lurking around each and every corner, even in a neighborhood near you. So y'all watch your surroundings. Watch the company you keep, watch the surroundings in the company in which your children are in as well. And considering the fact that you never know when someone may betray you, backstab you, try to hurt you or harm you, honey, keep you some protection on you. Y'all stay awake, stay aware, stay vigilant, and stay prepared. Because if you stay ready, you ain't got to get ready, baby. Until the next time, peace, love, and light. Namaste. I am that I am created in the image of God. <laughs>